God bless you, Mount Pesca. We love you this morning and we thank you for joining. Praise God this morning. If you'll bow with me in a word of prayer as we begin to convene our services. Father, we love you today. And we come before you with thanksgiving, Lord. Blessings after blessings you have bestowed upon us. You have opened doors for us. God, you have given us your love, your kindness, your mercy. Hallelujah. Even your grace, God. We thank you for all that you have done, all that you are doing, and Lord, all that you continue to do. We pray right now, as we come together, Lord, in reverence and in thanksgiving, that Father, you would be with us, even through this opportunity and modality that we are using right now. God, we just praise you. And we ask God that as you have touched family by family, as you have touched house by house, also touch this service on this morning, touch our pastor and what he's going to share. God, what you have given him instruction, I pray that we will be obedient and follow that instruction. And Lord, according to your word, it never goes out and comes back void. So we look forward with thanksgiving, with praise, with adoration to what you have for us this morning, God. Bless all those that are joining. Bless those that will join uh, later on. Bless those that aren't capable of joining, Lord. And we will forever give you the praise in Jesus' name. Amen. If you would, saints, uh, we are going to be referencing this morning John in the New Testament, chapter 1, verses 1 through 13. John in the New Testament, chapter 1, verses 1 through 13. And I believe that uh, it is also going to be on the screen if you want to follow along. Looks like it's coming up. John chapter 1, verses 1 through 13. Praise God. All right. I'm going to go ahead and read it from the King James Version, John chapter one in the New Testament, verses one through 13. And it reads, in the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by him and without him was not anything made that was made. In him was life and the life was the light of men. And the light shineth in darkness, and darkness comprehended it not. There was a man sent from God, whose name was John. The same came for witness, to bear witness of the light, that all men through him might believe. He was not that light, but was sent to bear witness of that light. That was the true light, which lighteth every man that cometh into the world. He was in the world. And the world was made by him, and the world knew him not. He came unto his own, and his own received him not. But as many as received him, to them he gave power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name, which were born not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God. Now, at this time, we're going to transition into uh, passing it over to our very own Pastor Clifford J. Wilson. We do love you, and Pastor, we are in your hands. Amen. God bless you. And Pastor, you are on mute. <laughs> Praise God. Praise God, everyone. It's such a joy to be with you today. We thank God for how he's blessed us to see another day. It is because it, it, of him that we live, we move, and to have our being. Praise Jesus. I am so thankful that the Lord has given us this wonderful, brand new year, as people would say. Praise the Lord. And uh, we're just so happy. We thank God for how he's kept us all year long, uh, even in all of this COVID uh, uh, situation and stuff that's happening all around us. God has brought us through, and I'm so grateful for that. Thank you, Jesus. Well, I, th there is a word from the Lord, and I'm so grateful that God has given us a word. I'm so blessed and awed that our Lord has given us an awesome thing for the year of 2022. Uh, this word will encourage us to acknowledge and expect the Lord to break through 
to break out, to burst out, or explode like a flood of water on our behalf. Praise the Lord. I'm excited about what he has planned for Mount Pisgah. Mount Pisgah as individuals, individually and collectively as a body, and also the body of Christ at large. God is good. Thank you, Lord. Now, today's message is the first of many affirmations of this glorious word from the Lord for the year 2022. I tell you, there is a word from the Lord. In the historical book of First Chronicles, chapter 14, verse 11, we read that the victorious account of one of David's battles to secure Israel from one of the many attacks of the enemy of God's people. I should say the enemies of God's people because they had more than one, praise the Lord. As the old adage goes, when warring factions face off or just in neighborhoods so when, when we when we would be at war with each other, um, someone would say, well, I wasn't talking to you. And the other person would say, well, when you were, when you're attacking my, my brother, when you're attacking my cousin, when you're attacking my friend, you're attacking me. Praise the Lord. And as it is in countries, we have allies. And we are saying to those uh, who would try to invade some small country, hey, if you are attacking them, they are our allies. Uh, you are in a, in, in a sense, in essence, attacking the United States of America. Praise the Lord. Um, that uh, family of God is exactly the reality when it comes to God's chosen. When the enemy attacks God's people, he is really attacking God. Praise the Lord. Did y'all hear that? When the enemy attacks God's people, God's chosen people, he is really attacking God. Thank you, Jesus. He, hallelujah. What a, what a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful affirmation and assurance that is to know that whatever the enemy tries to do to you, he's really after God. And I'm so grateful for that because, hallelujah, if, if, he, if he's attacking God, we know that there's no win for him. Praise Jesus. So our observation today, number one is, you are targeted because you belong to God. You are targeted simply because you belong to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. You are targeted. I am targeted. We are targeted because we belong to God. Praise the Lord. Now, listen to me very carefully. God's word is true and, it was, and it's going to last. Hallelujah. Uh, David had not been king over Israel long uh, before the Philistines, according to the scripture in, in verse, I think it's verse eight, it says, uh, they, 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 the, the Philistines heard that David had become king and they immediately decided that they were going to go up to try to attack him. It says that when the Philistines heard that David had been anointed king over Israel, all Israel, all the Philistines went up to search for David. David heard about it and went out against them. Now, here's a point of clarification before I move on to the other part of this message. A, a, a casual reading of this verse that I just read may provoke some or may provoke an erroneous, deceptive assumption that it was David's anointing that the enemy wanted to destroy in David's life. But I remind you, that David was anointed king many years before he was established as king. He even walked among the Philistines before he was established king in Israel, and they could not kill him because God wouldn't let them. Your anointing, my anointing, our anointing is God's anointing and is given to us by God. The enemy can never I repeat, the enemy can never have what belongs to God. Now, he's a deceiver, and he will deceive you into losing ground, but he can never take 
or steal what belongs to God. Hallelujah. Now, if you if you don't uh, think that's true, then you need to examine, as I say, heard someone say in Sunday school this morning, well, you need to K-N-O-W God. You need to know him. You need to know who he is. You need to know his character. You need to know what, he, what he's all about because, hallelujah, he is omniscient. He knows everything. He don't, nothing catches him by surprise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God knows everything. He knows what you're thinking right now. He knows, praise our God, from, from before we were born. He knew every thought. He knows everything. Isn't that powerful to know that God knows all of that about us, and yet he still saves us? Praise our God. Hallelujah. So, so, so you must believe then, hallelujah, that God is who he says he is. He, and so the enemy can never, ever take or steal what belongs to God. Hallelujah. I loved the story uh, uh, in, in the scripture when Jesus was being crucified as he was hanging on the cross. Hallelujah. The enemy had incited the people to crucify God, Jesus. They had, the enemy had caused them to, 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 to turn all of their rage and anger against Jesus, to, and they were trying to stop him. They were trying to, uh, to subvert God's plan. Praise our God. Hallelujah. And it, we have in the Christian uh, faith, in the tr Christian tradition, where people, where we come together on a Good Friday and a Good Friday service, and we have what we call the seven last sayings or the seven last words of Christ. And one of those seven last words is, when Jesus was hanging on the cross, hallelujah, hallelujah, he hung there until he said, Father, into my, thy hands I commend my spirit. Into your hands I give my spirit. Now, death had been waiting. If you can guess, get this in your mind, in your Holy Ghost imagination, or even in just your imagination itself, death is hovering. Death is waiting at the cross. Death wants to take over. Hallelujah. But death could not take over. And I, I see it like this. It was only then when Jesus says, it is finished, into your hands I commend my spirit, that he, he didn't just jump up and go grab him. He, he snuck up. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to God. Hallelujah. He was, he kind of snuck up on him and, and just took him, praise our God. But the scripture said he's, he, he couldn't even do it then because the Bible says, hallelujah, death can't hate me. I give my life to you, for you. Praise Jesus. So that's the God that I serve. That's the God that I serve. The God that I serve is completely in control of everything. There is not one thing that he doesn't control. Bless his name forever. Hallelujah. So since he cannot steal everything, and the reason he can is because God is very intentional and deliberate in his choosing. God just didn't haphazardly choose you. He intentionally chose you. Hallelujah. He deliberately chose you. He says, hallelujah. One passage of scripture says, I call you by your name. You are mine. He told that to Jacob. Praise the Lord. And I can tell you this right now. I believe with all my heart that that's what he said about me the day that he chose me. Hallelujah. You're mine. Woo! Hallelujah. I chose you. Thank you, Jesus. Remember that God is very intentional and deliberate about uh, whom he chooses and in his choosing. Now, you must believe and acknowledge that you have been chosen ordained and predestined to be conformed to the image of his son. For he is, and it's all for his will, for his honor and glory alone. That's the only reason that we've been chosen. We haven't been chosen because of our good looks. If that happened, I'd be lost. I'd never get saved. We haven't been chosen because we're so smart. I know I wouldn't have made the cut. Praise the Lord. Not because I'm so physically fit. Man, oh man, oh man, alive. Hallelujah. Now you got to remember, God intentionally chose us, knowing that one day he chose me, knowing that one day, hallelujah, there's going to be cancer in my body. But he didn't stop because of that. 
Hallelujah. He looked beyond all of this stuff that we're going through, all of our weaknesses, all of our faults, all of our failures, because he has a plan to conform us and pre hallelujah to the image of his son. He's doing that. Apostle Paul said, I'm persuaded, I am confident that he who began this good work in us is going to perform it. He's going to do it. Hallelujah. So John came along and said, right now, we are the sons of God, even though it does not yet appear, hallelujah, that we are. But we know we're going to be just like him when we see him. So God, hallelujah, has, has called us to be his. He's intentionally, deliberately chosen us for his honor and his glory alone, not for mine, but for his. Now, isn't it wonderful to know that God can and will break through for you in 2022. He did for David, and he has chosen to give us his word. Now in, in 2022, he will break through for us. That's what the Holy Spirit just, just pounded into my spirit back in November. Hallelujah. When I was studying that, that this, this, this chapter and this verse for a message, Holy Ghost, hallelujah, from heaven, he said, Bael, Perazim. David called the place Bael Perazim. Hallelujah. We're going to look at that a little bit more. Hallelujah. As we go on. But he will break through. Our text reveals that David did not wait for the enemy to come and attack. He went out against them. That's confidence, isn't it? Hallelujah. That's confidence. Observation number two. God has not given us the spirit of fear. And we need not fear the enemy. I'll say, read that again. God has not given us the spirit of fear. Hallelujah. And we need not fear the enemy. Praise Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Glory be to God. Now, verse 9 informs us that David didn't carelessly go against the enemy without asking God if he should, and if he would be victorious. Did you hear me? God just didn't, David just didn't carelessly jump up and, and go out the enemies out there. The scripture teaches us that God, re God released him to go and he assured him that he would give him victory. God released him and assured him that he would give him victory. Ooh, bless his name forever. We have the assurance of God's word that he will provide the breakthrough that we need. He did it for David and he can, he can and will do it for us according to his word. Notice, not our will, but for his will. We cannot haphazardly serve God. Hallelujah. We cannot haphazardly do what we will and what we want to and assume that God will back us up. <laughs> Hallelujah. I'm not in favor and I'm so fond of, uh, of, 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 of the phrase, uh, God's got your back. I, I don't like uh, attributing that saying uh, to God in the same manner as it is said to another person. I mean, I may say it to another person, but when you're talking about God, to say God's got your back, I, I, I don't, I, I doesn't, I don't, uh, it doesn't compute with me. And the reason is because God is sovereign. And he, listen to this very carefully. He has so ordained his plan for our lives that our backs is never an issue. Bless his name forever. God has, is sovereign. You know what that means? He does what he wants, when he wants, how he wants, to whom he wants, however he wants. And he doesn't need our permission or he doesn't need to explain it to us or anyone else. God is sovereign and he has so ordained, hallelujah, because of his omnipotence, he has ordained his plan for our lives that so much so that our backs is never an issue. When he breaks through our front and back is the same and is never threatened. Hallelujah. Our backs are never threatened when God breaks through. Thank you, Jesus, because he's looking out for us front and back. 
It's the same to him. It front and back is different for us, but we are not God. God is omnipotent. God is omniscient. God is omnipresent. He's always present. Hallelujah. He's present when I'm walking forward. He's present when I'm walking back. When I'm backing up, he's still there. And he's all around me everywhere. <laughs> Hallelujah. So I, I can't say God's got my back as if there's a time when my back is an issue with God. God's plan is, he, he, has, he has so ordained our, his plan for our lives that our back is never an issue for him or for us if we trust him. I think about the song that borrows from David's theme in Psalm 23, and it says, because the Lord is my shepherd, I have everything I need. He lets me rest in meadows green. And he leads me beside the quiet stream. He restores my failing health and he helps me to do what honors him the most. That's why I'm safe. I'm safe. I'm safe in his arms. Hallelujah. Verse 11 confirms God's word to David is an overwhelming victory. And the David memorialized the victory with the word that God has given Mount Pisgah as a battle cry. Baal Perazim. Baal Perazim. Baal Perazim. The Lord who breaks out. Whatever the situation may be, whatever your situation may be, the Lord, our God, has given us his word for whatever we face and whenever we face it. We can declare with full assurance, by El Perazim, hallelujah, that could ring in our spirits and our minds, hallelujah, for a whole year, by El Perazim, the Lord will break through. The Lord will break out. I tell you, the Lord will burst out as waters of a flood. God will break out in our favor. He will break out in my favor. Amen. Praise our God. God, hallelujah, has given us a theme for the year 2022. The Lord who breaks through. Thank you, Jesus. And I promise you, hallelujah, when he gave that to me, he was speaking so many things to my mind, things that concern us individually, things that concern the church, hallelujah, things that concern the world, things that concern our loved ones, hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. And you know, hallelujah, for the last couple of weeks, praise God, hallelujah, it's been a challenging time for my family. My family here in Evanston, praise our God. Our church had a had a, a serious situation, praise our God, and bless the Lord of my soul. Hallelujah. God had an ordained plan for our lives, praise our God. I think of the many things that could have happened. Yes. Thank you, Jesus, but it did not happen. Hallelujah. And then, hallelujah, before that week was over good, I get the call that my oldest brother, in Orlando, Florida, had died and had gone on. We lost him. He just left us, praise our God. Hallelujah. And then the thought came to me, oh, this must be one of those Job syndromes from you, for you. And I had to rebuke that devil because he wanted me to go into a state of pity and a state of depression. Praise our God and remind him of what the word said. The Bible says Job was a perfect an upright man, hallelujah. Glory to God. I can't make that claim for myself. Praise our God. Hallelujah. I don't know if God sees me as perfect and upright or not. Hallelujah. So I just say, Lord, hallelujah, thy will be done. As I had preached the week before, thy will be done. Hallelujah. And as I heard one someone say, they said, that is my testimony. And before I take it back, I'll add more to it. Glory to God. God is breaking through. God is going to break through. God is bursting out. God, hallelujah, is overwhelming. Praise God. There's going to be an overwhelming of God's presence. Hallelujah, God's spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, God. And I believe, hallelujah, that it's going to be just as said as he said it was going to be. There's going to be a breakthrough. 
for us in 2022. Claim it. Hallelujah. Declare it. Declare it that God is going to break through for me, for you in 2022. God bless you. Hallelujah. Sister Katie, would you, hallelujah, just cue up that song, praise the Lord, as we, glory to God, come to our end of our message. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Bless his name forever. Oh, wonderful Jesus. I would, I would that you would just praise him. I would that you would praise him. Praise him. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Trust him because he promised. Hallelujah. And the enemy in hell, according to what the word of God says, the very gates of hell cannot, hallelujah, will not prevail. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Ooh, ooh, glory. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Bless his name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Well, we can't hear it. Can you all hear it? I can't. No. No, like we can't hear it, Sister Katie. I don't know. Okay, thank you. There you go. Thank you. Here is 
What a what a what a song, praise the Lord, at the end our time together. Hallelujah. Ah, bless his name forever. Hallelujah. Just blesses me to know that God is going to burst out for us. So please hold fast to what this word is saying. Praise Jesus. We're going to uh, continue this uh, theme throughout the year. Praise the Lord. Uh, next Sunday, praise God, uh, uh, we will be uh, away for my brother's funeral. And Pastor Blakely is going to be ministering to you. And I trust, hallelujah, that God would use him and bless each one of you. Praise the Lord uh, for, for, for that Sunday, second Sunday. Uh, normally, it is our, <clears throat> our custom to have a communion Sunday. Uh, but of course, we're not meeting together, but we can still commune. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And uh, we can still pray and we can still love each other and we can still minister for the glory and honor of God. Don't forget, hallelujah, that you can uh, be a blessing to the ministry by uh, using Cash App uh, and our, our Cash App <clears throat> information is on the screen, dollar sign, Mount Pisgah ministry all caps praise the lord uh please if you will and uh, you can use our post office box 5202 of everston illinois the 60204 mount pisca ministry uh, post office box 5202 everston illinois praise god uh, uh illinois 60204 i'm sorry is the zip code for that address we love you so very much and we thank God for you. Continue to pray for us. We're making progress on getting our, uh, our furnace and all of the equipment that the church uh, taken care of. And um, we just believe that God is gonna do it in such a way that it will not uh, be a uh, detriment to us. Hallelujah, financially, praise Jesus. And um, Whatever the cost is, God can supply it. I just believe that he's going to break through. Thank you so much for your prayers. Thank you so much for being with us today. I would encourage you to encourage all of Mount Pisgah that all they need to do is get on Zoom and be with us. They don't have to leave their bedroom if they don't want to. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And I, I, just, I, just, I just sense that God is using... This, I heard one brother say, this is God's left-handed blessing. COVID-19 is God's left-handed blessing. <laughs> Praise God. Hallelujah. So I believe that God is using this. I know he's blessed me and he will bless you too. We're going to end our time now. Uh, um, for the message and Pastor Blakely is going to give you any other announcements that we have that, we, that he needs to give us and then we'll be dismissed in Jesus name. Father, thank you for the word. I pray now, God, that you would use it for your glory. In the mighty name of Jesus, let every word that is said bring honor and glory to you and you alone. Your glory and honor alone. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. That's Blakely.